Are you feeling a little burned out on the MMO you've been playing? Do you sometimes log in and then log out because you can't decide what to do? Every MMO veteran knows that feeling. That feeling that signals the need to change it up and experience something fresh. There's nothing like the first week in an MMO as it's almost always a lot of fun. But for how long? That's the question that can make it hard to commit to dropping your hard-earned cash on a new MMO. So today, let's remove that barrier. Let's talk about the great MMOs you can sink hundreds or thousands of hours into without spending a dime. Time. No risk, all reward. These are high quality, polished AAA MMOs that have been played and enjoyed by thousands and just so happen to now have a free to play model. These are MMOs that you can play right now for free. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 was originally launched in 2012 and is available on PC. It will let you play the first 80 levels for free, including all job stories and base game zones. This can easily work out to hundreds or even thousands of hours of amazing content. The game does not require a sub and it is legitimately sub free. If you enjoy the game, you can choose to buy the expansions to unlock some of the game's newest and coolest zones and features. Guild Wars 2 does not feature your typical holy trinity of tank damage damage dealer and healer, but it does allow players to build toward specs that allow them to at least partially fulfill those roles. One strength of Guild Wars 2 definitely lies in its fully voice acted main story in which not only the NPCs you interact with are voice acted, but your character is fully voice acted as well. This makes for a story experience few MMOs can rival. Guild Wars 2 is being actively supported by the developers and just received one of its largest expansions ever, End of Dragons. The expansion added new mounts, fishing, new zones, and more amazing story content. In summary, you can play this game 100% for free. You can play the entire base game, which goes all the way to 80 for free, and then use the in-game currency to buy the expansion content if you wish. If you want to jump into the expansion content right away, there's always the option to buy it with cash. If you are looking for a highly polished, free-to-play Western MMO that is not bogged down with pay-to-win like free-to-play titles usually are, Guild Wars 2 is a great option for you. Next up, Warframe. Warframe launched in 2013. It's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and I believe it's the only game on this list that's also available on the Switch. Warframe is completely free to play. Not only do you not have to buy it, but there is no subscription. If you ever wanted to be a space ninja, look no further. You will unlock a spaceship that will act as your hub. You will also unlock and upgrade more Warframes as you play through the game. That's right. There's not just one Warframe, there's many Warframes, each one playing like a new class might in a traditional MMO. The game does not feature the Holy Trinity, but instead it features lots of classes that can lots of things really well. The story in the game is pretty good, but where it excels is in the fluid and fast paced combat. It just feels right. It has a healthy population with thousands of players playing every day and received its most recent expansion just a few months back, so the game is alive and well. While Warframe isn't exactly what I would call a typical MMO, it does feature a lot of MMO elements such as exploration, group play, quests, classes, and weapon and gear progression. Once again, all parts of this game are 100% free to play. If you want to enjoy some of the smoothest feeling combat out of any game on the list, if you're burned out on the typical MMO recipe, Warframe might be a nice change for you. Next up, we've got Lost Ark. Lost Ark originally launched in Korea in 2019, and here in 2022, it's just received its Western launch. Lost Ark is available on PC, and unlike many of the free-to-play options, Lost Ark will let you play the entire game for free. This cash shop is filled to the brim with pay-to-win, but as far as completely free-to-play MMOs go, not many can currently compete with this behemoth in terms of its amount and quality of content that you have access to for free. The game also features an optional sub to help you advance through it quicker and provide quite a bit of quality of life. The sub runs the player $10.50 US. You can choose to purchase the subscription with in-game currency if you wish to try and go that route of playing completely for free. Lost Ark does not feature the holy trinity of tank, healer, and DPS, but instead relies on every player to be responsible for themselves, though there is one class that can somewhat feel like a tank and there's two other ones that feel like support. Lost Ark does have an incredibly healthy population here in the West as it's only just recently launched and was received quite well. And and being that it's brand new, it's safe to say that it's being actively supported by the devs. If you do play for free, making progress at decent speed in late game will require you to create alts to do dailies and then funnel those materials to your main. If you're okay with progressing a little slower or making alts, you can enjoy the entire game without spending a dime. So if you're looking for an isometric top-down MMORPG that feels a little bit like Diablo and BDO had a baby, then Lost Art could be a great option for you. Next up, we have RuneScape. RuneScape launched in 
fun and you can play runescape for free on pc mac and mobile it is free to play with an optional monthly sub of 11 dollars a month you can earn in-game currency to buy your subscription to further avoid needing to spend real life cash on the game keeping it completely free to play the free to play version of the game contains a huge amount of content if you enjoy the game the sub will unlock a boatload of expansion content that will increase the size of the game tenfold this doesn't mean that the base game is small just that they've been adding to it for a very very long time once again old school runescape does not feature the holy trinity of tank healer and dps but instead has more of a rock paper scissors approach where melee ranged and magic trade off who's stronger against who runescape despite its age is still one of the largest mmos in the world thanks in large part to its accessibility and unique position in the category and is still actively supported by the devs the game is free and all additional content can be unlocked with the sub which can be purchased with in-game currency so once again, the entire game can be enjoyed for free. If you want that super old school feeling MMO where you level something by doing that thing, this might be the perfect MMO for you. Also, if you haven't upgraded your PC since 2007, this is definitely the MMO for you as it will run on nearly any PC or phone. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, consider slapping that like and sub button right now for more MMO content. Next up, we have EVE Online. EVE Online launched in 2003 and is available on PC and Mac. It can be played for free free with the option to pay $14.95 a month for a sub to unlock some quality of life options as well as the ability to unlock some of the spaceships sooner. Once again, you can purchase the sub with in-game currency making it possible to completely play the game for free. EVE Online is more of a space exploration and spaceship building simulator so you will use fleets instead of your typical tank, healer, and DPS setup. In EVE Online, players form their own alliances and then battle it out for control of the most valuable portions of the universe. When your ship is destroyed, it does not reset spawn so you will need to build it again this keeps the stakes high in these battles and the adrenaline flowing despite its age eve online is still incredibly popular thanks to the fact that there's still nothing else out there like it in addition to that the devs just recently updated the new player experience and are actively continuing to support the game if you're looking for a spaceship building simulator with the potential to experience massive thousand player spaceship battles eve online might just be the game for you destiny 2 destiny 2 launched in 2017 it's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Stadia, and is cross-play so that all of these platforms can play together. So if you and your friends are strewn across multiple platforms, this might be one to consider. You can play Destiny 2 for free, but veterans of the game often describe it as free to try more than free to play, as a lot of the best content is locked behind paid for expansions. Regardless, you can get hundreds or thousands of hours out of the free version of the game if you're keen on it. Destiny 2 is a first-person shooter MMO that takes place in space and on various platforms planets. It has gear progression like an MMO and weapon progression like an MMO and raids like an MMO. It just also so happens to be a first person shooter in space. It has three classes to choose from, a tankier class, a mage class, and a dexterity based class. It does not quite adhere to the holy trinity, but it does feature it loosely across these three classes if a player wants to lean into those roles a little bit. Once in the game, you can choose to explore planets or jump into PvP. So to sum up the cost, you can get hundreds of hours of free content out of the free to play version of the game. But you will be limited on just how many activities you can participate in. Unfortunately for free to play players, there is no way to unlock the content via in-game currency, which means if you do end up wanting to enjoy the full game, you will have to shell out some cash for it. Destiny 2 is a beautiful game and it's incredibly well polished. If you've ever wanted to play something that has fantastically merged first person shooters and MMOs, Destiny 2 could be the perfect option for you. Next up, we have Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy 14 had a disastrous launch in 2010, so it destroyed the world to relaunch in 2013. This time around, it is much more successful. Final Fantasy XIV is an RPG first and an MMO second. There is tons of story packed into this MMO, but don't mistake that for meaning there isn't any group content. Despite its focus on the story experience, it still has much more group content than almost any other MMO out there. Final Fantasy XIV is available on PC, Mac, and PlayStation. Sorry, Xbox, you've got to sit this one out for now. Though there have been rumors that Final Fantasy XIV is working on making its way to Xbox, it just hasn't happened yet. As of right now, you can play the first 60 levels for free, including the dungeons, the raids, the trials, and the entire story through that point. This is a ton of content. It is the entire base game and the first expansion all for free. Beyond that, you can level up all of the classes that are available along the way. There are, however, some restrictions on your account to prevent gold sellers from destroying the economy with these free accounts. But despite this, it's a very generous free trial. This is the most traditional MMO on the list, featuring the holy trinity of tank 
healer, and DPS, and tab targeting. The class you pick determines the role you fill. If you pick a Dark Knight, you're a tank. If you pick a Black Mage, you're a damage dealer. The one downside to this game for free to players is that if you do enjoy the game and you want to play the rest of it, it will run you 60 bucks to get the complete edition, which includes the entire game and all of its expansions. And then you'll also need to shell out $13 a month for the subscription. But before you get to that point, you have hundreds of free hours in one of the highest rated and most successful MMOs ever released. Next. Star Wars The Old Republic Star Wars The Old Republic launched in 2011, and like a lot of the options on this list, it's starting to show its age. It's available on PC, and it's free to play the base game in all of its eight class stories. These class stories are all unique, and each one has multiple endings that you can unlock based on the decisions you make as you play through it. The Holy Trinity sort of exists as you can play a healer or a tank, but the game won't really require that of you anymore for most of the content. While SWOTOR does have group content, today it seems the best way to look at the game is as a single player story adventure. To that end, it does an excellent job and even includes a lot of familiar characters from the Star Wars franchise. Franchise. It is completely voice acted and you're able to make meaningful and impactful decisions along the way, since the decisions you make will determine the ending you unlock with up to three different endings for each class. You can choose to subscribe to the game for $15 a month and doing so for just one month will unlock permanently all the zones in the game. So if you find yourself enjoying the game, it might be worth it to subscribe for one month. So basically, you've got an incredible base game story, experience for free, and if you want to unlock everything else, you're looking at 15 bucks and you've got it all. So if you're craving a great story or perhaps some Star Wars or maybe just you want to kill some things with a lightsaber, Star Wars The Old Republic might be a great MMO for you to play for free. Next up, Albion Online. Albion Online is a fantasy sandbox MMORPG and is something a little different. It was released in 2017 and is available on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android, and it is of course free to play. Albion is a full loot PvP MMO, so adrenaline junkies pay attention to this one. It has tons of PvE content if you're into it and it does a fantastic job of mixing pvp events into pve environments don't worry if you don't feel like pvp when you log in the game does have some pve content where you're safe from other players fortunately if you lose a full loot pvp fight it's not too terribly difficult to recover from it most players are running around in gear that's worth maybe one percent of their total net worth once you've been looted by an enemy all you have to do is go and buy your replacement gear and the game has made this process incredibly easy by letting you save loadouts so you can repurchase your loadout with the click of a single button after you die. The game features a pretty massive progression tree where the more you use something, the more you level it up and unlock more things down that branch of the tree. The game has a healthy and active population and a very dynamic world that encourages players to head to specific areas and team up or fight or both. If you're enjoying the game, you can choose to get some quality of life and increase progression speed by subscribing to the game for $12 a month. Just be aware that the subscription is per character and not account wide, so make sure you buy it on the character you intend on playing. Also, if you want to try and keep it free to play, you can buy the subscription with in-game currency. If you are looking for something different and high stakes that feels like a MOBA and an MMO merged into one beautiful creature, Albion Online might be a great choice for you. As promised, all of these games can be played for hundreds or thousands of hours for free. These are polished, high quality games being enjoyed by thousands of players every single day right now. A special thank you to my YouTube members for keeping the channel going. To find out how to become a YouTube member, check on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed the video, so be sure to like and sub for more MMO content. If you think there's an amazing free to play MMO that I missed, be sure to let me know down in the comments below so I can check it out next time. If you ever wanna hang out with someone else who loves MMOs, swing by my Twitch stream over at twitch.com tv slash lucky ghost until then i'll see you next time